let's look at another uh, characteristic of flip flop which is called clock skew this is the delay between clock signals imagine you have the circuit like this uh, where two deep flip flops are there and there is some input and output you don't care about that look at this dude's uh, clock signals practically uh, the clock signals should go at the same time to all the flip flops but uh, practically what ideally it should go at the same time but practically what happens uh, uh, one flip flop will get signal at one time and uh, a clock signal another uh, flip flop will get clock signal at another time it is it was supposed to uh, go together to both the flip flop at the same time simultaneously uh, simultaneously same signal so should go to both the flip flops but practically some problem comes and there will be some delay in the other one this this curve i have made is just to represent to you that some delay is there it is reaching at the same time for the first guy but it is not reaching at the same time for the second guy ideally the same signal should reach here and here as well but practically what is happening here this signal is um, being fetched and in the second one this signal is being fetched what is the difference between them you can see the skew the so skew means the difference between the delay i uh, means like a delay between the clock signals one clock signal second clock signal and you can see there is a delay small okay so that is called t skew uh, it is represented by how much time it is delayed uh, is called as t skew and uh, you might think why they has to uh, go together to these two flip flops uh, the answer is uh, uh, there is a circuit some circuit called synchronous circuits that we will uh, see later on uh, where the clock has to be fetched together to all the flip flops and um, uh, that's how it works means like uh, to work it properly i'll i'll tell you the details later on but uh, as of now you just imagine this is a kind of a, a, a synchronous circuit whose clock has to be given together to all the flip flops uh, i mean it does not mean that only two flip flops are there 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 could be more number of flip flops and you want um, all of them should get clock at the same time but due to some practical reasons uh, some of them are getting a delayed clock like this so that's when clock skew occurs okay that is the meaning of clock skew the difference or uh, delay between uh, clock signals so this is how it is represented uh, this is something you don't want uh, what is the solution solution is to increase the hold time margin or you keep hold time margin greater than t skew if you remember what was hold time um, uh, this is the clock signal uh, your flip flop will require some time uh, for uh, for some time input should be there after the clock signal let's say it is 1 nanosecond so that is your flip flops hold time but your input is changing after 4 nanosecond so no hold time violation you you, uh, you already seen that and what is hold time margin the difference between these two so 4 minus 1 is 3 nanosecond that is hold time margin okay this i told you in the set up time hold time video so uh, it is the difference between them so this difference has to be greater than t skew why this this uh, suddenly this relation comes uh, if you are able to visualize uh, see here uh, the first clock if you will see when the clock edge comes what does hold time means the input has to stay there for some time right after the clock pulse so you can see if t skew is some some skew is there to this flip flop and the output is uh, here uh, is generated it has to stay there uh, uh, for for uh, this this input has to be stay there right that is what how whole time means after the clock pulse the input has to stay there so that this output will be available and if this output will be available the, the if even if the clock will come in uh, with after some time then also this input will be available so that's the logic kind of uh, you, if you can imagine so you are increasing the whole time uh, margin you are keeping it so that second clock will get time after delay so that everything will be synchronized so i hope you are able to visualize i mean t skew has to be very very less i mean ideally it should be very very less so that your whole time margin will cover the the, the delay okay so uh, again i will tell you after the application of clock edge the input should be available for some time so that this output will be available at the input of this clock so that this clock will get some more time after the delay so that it things will be synchronized 
and uh, why why the 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 t skew is a problem because you will get different outputs here right uh, because your clocks are not synchronized so at different clocks you will get different output that's the reason you are bothering about clock skew so if you increase that whole time margin or you keep the whole time margin greater than t skew uh, you you will avoid clock skew okay that's the answer you you should imagine so if your clock skew is of 0.5 nanosecond and your whole time margin is 3 nanosecond then you will easily avoid clock skew no no issues will be there but if let's say your t skew is uh, 5 nanosecond and your whole time margin is 3 nanosecond then the input will change you know so this input will be changing so after the uh, means like later on means output will be different so just to visualize this expression that's much more important uh, there is nothing much in this but uh, you should uh, be able to imagine this expression that's all whole time margin we keep longer and longer so that this clock will get time i mean uh, if whatever that skew time is uh, it has to be very very less so that the input will stay there and output will not change okay so that's the logic uh, so this was one of the characteristics of flip flop uh, let me jump to now some some applications of flip flop so that um, you'll get much more a uh, feel so this was just a module about flip flops latches we were studying about and now we will apply it we will see circuits of this sequential circuits okay like this one 